This should be a good spot. Uh, yo, dude, get out of my shot. Thank you. Asshole. Hey, welcome to Elite War Behind the Scenes Part 2. I'm your host, Ghost Amo, and I do pretty much everything. This episode comes to you And he moved my camera. Thank you. This episode comes directly from Xbox Live Game. And the reason I do it because I think it's fun to see me die over and over again. But my goal is to stay alive and host the show right here, right now. So every time you, I'm gonna go off screen, you will see a small screen to your right showing my direct position. So you won't think I'm cheating. And yeah, let's get right away to the questions. And the first question comes from Frog. What programs do you recommend? Well, Sony Vegas Pro 9, that's what I use to make my videos right now. It's easy to use, it has a lot of options, and wait, give me a minute. Don't you dare come into my shot. Get out of here. That's right. So as I was saying, it's easy to use, has a lot of different options, but there is one big catch. It's price. It costs from 400 to 500 something dollars. It's ridiculously expensive. You can also use Vegas Pro 8, which is easier, but still the same price. Ugh, sorry, I have to do it again. The flag is downstairs, it's not up here. Have you ever played Halo before? Get the hell out of here. Now. Yes. Thank you, assholes. So yeah, if you're really tight on money, Windows Movie Maker, that's the best you can get, I guess. It's fine, you know, nothing special, but it works, it does its job. Next goes Adobe After Effects for the cloning and some special effects. It's extremely nice for it. A lot of possibilities, a lot of options, almost endless if you want to say that. But once again, the price. Same range, $400 to $500. Extremely expensive software to get, but it's worth it. I must say it's worth it. Obviously, you can get it other ways, but I don't recommend it. I think this is better. So yeah, yeah, this is this is pretty much a good, good question. The next question comes from Boot. Actually, a couple of next questions come from Boot. Yeah. What made you start Machinima? Let me get something straight. We're talking about Machinima as an art form, not the website, right? Because I don't like the Machinima website. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't like Machinima in general. The only reason I'm doing this one is to please people over in my clan. It just happens that. According to some people, it's fine. I don't think so. I'm just make it for fun. It's a lot of work, but whatever, you know? Nothing besides my clan made me start doing this. I'm doing this only for my clan. I mean, people outside of my clan, you're watching it, you like it, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. But ultimately, it's not about the YouTube or, or Halo guys. It's about my clan bringing their vision to life. There's the only driving force behind it. And when I say that I don't like Machinima, I'm not saying about somebody's personal work. I'm telling you about a concept in general. There are some great Machinimators out there, great directors and great voice actors that deserve the credit. But at the end, it's nothing. It's just game footage coupled with voice acting and a few flashy effects. That's it. Surprisingly, I'm still alive, so let me start the countdown. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Victory! Yep, I won, so I guess I need another footage. Well, that was tragic failure on my part, but at least I got my armor back. I really wanted to die, but you know, I guess it was my skill that kept me alive. But anyway, I guess, oh well, so let's get back to the questions. As I said, Next few questions will be from Boot. So, alright, this is something wrong with this computer screen. Ghost, listen, somebody's attacking HGX right now. You better get there immediately. ASAP, go, 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 go! Thanks, Ghost. I'll do it right away. He always falls for this trick. I better go check on him. Ugh. Oh, how I hate that guy. I swear, next time I like him, I'm gonna demote him, put him as a heretic, and I'm gonna hate him for the rest of my freaking life. Ugh, I hate him. Whatever. Next question comes from Boot. Boot, question number three. How do you come up with dialogue? 
That's a really good question. And I must say that it's not easy. It's not easy at all. For example, this scene from episode 2 was provided with dialogue to me. It was part of a story, a part of a character. So I really did not have to work much with it. But I still have to make it sound as real as possible. And what I see the character saying it in the way it's saying it. Obviously the footage and the some certain parts of setting are fine. But the core, the, the core of the meaning behind it and the actual dialogue was provided to me. We were both at the edge of collapse. And then, they, they took him away on his ship. This scene, on the other hand, which was not provided with me with the script and was completely my work, hey, Robert, I find guy? these scenes more important than some huh? of the Smart. bigger scenes in general because you can't just have characters there without slightly getting into them. You can't have just anybody just standing around and just pretending to be there. They have to be as real as possible. So we have these two soldiers here discussing our main character like any person would. There's a new guy, somebody will talk about him behind his back, somehow. And in this particular scene, they talk about him, uh, you know, what's, where he's from and, and what's his history behind him. But this scene is also important because it develops this this feeling of loneliness for this main character with this news thing that I put in about the new armor coming out and Spartans Today, becoming obsolete. The have announced the distribution of new human exoskeleton power armor named Viper. Unlike the previous models of the armor, Coming up with dialogue for this particular scene wasn't particularly hard but tricky. How to fit in dialogue with the main theme of the episode and I thought that through this dialogue through this out of the blue news update that suddenly appears on the screen you get this feeling of understanding of how you how the character feels because you hear there's about obsolescence loneliness mental disability mental problems and you understand why the character is the way he is without character actually telling you this with his actions which I found w was really clever. At the same time, it was mundane dialogue, which was not part of the script and not part of any plan. I just came up with it there and then. Another great example of how I just come up with stuff. Nothing of this was planned. I had the plan of this message, but nothing in particular. So I just came up with there and then with it. What, what would this captain do? Why would he do it? And at the same time, with this dialogue, I would give him character. Like now he's bowing down and saying, I can't believe I'm doing this. You feel it. He doesn't want to do this thing he's about to do, which you find out later on. And then this little th scene with two of them talking reveals a hidden, much bigger plot of the entire series almost. As well as giving this feeling of hey how do these two guys feel do they have feelings for yes. the rest of the troops Welcome out there do they care about Water. anybody Water. else same thing with this scene i am particularly proud of this scene because i planned once again i planned the general idea of what i'm going to say but nothing was written down that's the way i work i never have a script i have a general idea what i have to do and when i and once i'm done filming I just match the time spent with di with my own made up dialogue or with dialogue provided. Nothing is written down. I don't have a guideline that will give you this freedom to do what the hell I want in terms of filming and action and, and sequences of events. Like nothing is planned. And I, I really think that's a bad way to do machinima. But you know, people do it with the script, I do it without and I get maybe the same result. But this scene I must say I'm the most proud of it. And yeah, that's all the time I have for the questions. Again, we will do another part. If you liked it, please comment and subscribe. Leave questions in the comment box. I died the total of three times actually, so... Oh well, I got my wish. Thanks, and see you later in the next episode.